hello everyone in this video we are going to see how we can fix this error in Laravel target class controller name does not exist as the solution the first thing you can try you have to make sure your controller is in this controllers folder directly and if your controller is another folder of this controllers folder you can move that controller from that particular folder directly into this controllers folder and then try again because we have to make sure everything is okay and after that you can uh, go ahead and move your folder into uh, the subfolder in this controllers folder okay now I'm having this controller directly in this controllers folder so there are no such subfolders so the next solution that we have to check is just uh, check this routes folder and then inside this uh, web.php you have to go to this route colon colon get and your uh, desired path here and then check your second argument here we have a string of the path of our controller and also the function name instead what I will do just uh, keep this as it is for now and then add break add square brackets here we have to say the controller name with app backslash HTTP backslash controllers and then your path the next path uh, so if you type this uh, controller name here you can see that and then you have go to the top type use and when you are going to type your controller name it will suggest you for example if you type admin this is my controller name it will suggest you that so put the semicolon finally and then here you have to say colon colon class and then you have to add the next value here separating with the comma and then if you see this is your function let me show you this is the function name that we have to include in this controller we can see this function so here as a e string we have to pass that here okay that is it so we can uh, remove this e string which is included in the path and the function name now we can go ahead and run this now it is working now we can do the similar thing for this post method I'm going to just uh, copy this whole thing and then paste that here instead this uh, show login form function I will say that as logging all right now we can go ahead and run this and see yeah everything is working correctly as needed okay I hope this video helps if this video helps please subscribe thank you